Brasilia Airport. The Queen's Flight VC-10 had brought Her Majesty and Prince Philip to the world's newest capital city. This was a highlight of the first British royal tour in South America. The opportunity for the President of the Republic, Costa Ri Silva, and his wife to host a series of splendid functions and sightseeing tours in the architectural wonderland. But first, tradition had its way. This city of Brasilia is as modern as tomorrow. Eight years ago, there was virtually nothing here. Now, the futuristic cathedral nears completion. The skyscrapers and concourses reflect the bright sunshine. The Queen was obviously impressed. Here, at the Palace of Alvarada, the President's official residence, opulent good taste abounded. Everywhere in this multi-million pound city, there is something to dazzle the eye, particularly when the traditional mixes with the futuristic. Her Majesty was a most welcome visitor. In the more informal moments, she was relaxed, enjoying as a tourist the sights of a new land. On state occasions, she was a queen. The toast was to Her Majesty, proposed by the President at the sumptuous banquet held at the Itamariti Palace. The Queen looked truly radiant as she replied to that toast. The end of a memorable visit to a beautiful city had come, but there was still more to see in this vast land. Another city, Sao Paulo. One of the sites not to be missed, the Edificio Italia. Here again was one of those informal times when the hospitable Brazilians made the Queen feel at home. The London Bobby was all part of that welcome. In Sao Paulo, they're very proud of the Edificio Italia. It's the tallest building in the city, 41 stories high and a real must for all visitors. The view is very worthwhile. It had been clearly demonstrated this far in the tour that the Queen and Prince Philip were very welcome visitors. Brazil, the land of the Amazon River, the Sugarloaf Mountain and the coffee galore had rolled out the red carpet in a grand show of hospitality.